What is going on Hoodie Ninjas? Spectral50 here bringing you a brand new video and today we are going to be going over the Red Demon and the basics on how to do it and we are doing it on extreme level. I'm going to be doing it with Rum. He is a member of my Discord community and my Knighthood. So he already is fully aware of what we're doing. So we'll start by just going over the basic team. Um, Go through if you were able to pull for him is crazy good because he has his rank up ability i use kane for a damage boost uh, gustav or merlin can be used for their freeze mechanic because the red demon is a deathmatch boss that can be cc'd he can be controlled and you want to do that at the end of every turn and then i specifically use jericho for my big damage dealer she can pretty much one shot a, a health bar provide provided she crits um, for food, you can use CC food if you happen to need it, attack food if you need some more damage, uh, alt food if you want to hit your alt faster, or we have the basic uh, gold food, which is usually what I will use. Uh, for my partner in this battle, he is using Gother because, of course, we've got the rank up ability. He's using the Merlin for freeze, and he is using Slater. Now, Slater, for in his blue Slater... He is an amazing damage dealer in this fight as well, just like Jericho, and we will show you exactly how that all works. So I will go in, I will get my gold food, and we will go from there. Just because um, the deathmatch bosses, they do drop a considerable amount of food, and sometimes food can be hard to do. All right, so we're going to hit preparation complete, and we are going to start the death match. So right away, we're going to get our cards, and we're hoping we can either myself or Rum will get two rank up cards. We'll fuse them together, and then we will sit. We will just kind of burn crap cards at the begin first turn. Simple as that. That's what we're hoping for. And then the other person hopefully at least has one as well. So we will see what happens. CC is not hard to beat. See, we have almost 240,000. I'm not using completely all my best equipment. So I got one. And we'll see if he has anything. So he has the CC here. See, he says he can freeze. So this first turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of burn some crappy cards just to get rid of them and then he's gonna freeze we're really hoping that one of us can get our gother rank up i need to keep using my jericho cards because it will raise the crit damage or crit chance which of course then if you can do it yeah increases that so i now have this so and now you see he can't freeze and he has the rank up which is really really good so I will then do that, and then we're just going to burn some cards. It's mainly because I, he is building up his uh, Slater cards. That's the big one. I need to get more Jericho cards. The level of her card is not a big deal. See, I mean, just a basic attack almost killed him. So I'm going to signal that I have that. And then I'm just because I already know he's going to die. I'm just moving Jericho cards around because it actually fills her alt gauge. That is the big thing. And I just buffed the crap out of us. So down goes the first health bar. Now, we're praying for a crit when I do use the Jericho alt because, yeah, it's just simple. Yeah, he's he's requesting an all-out attack. So that means that he, yeah, you see, he's got this really, really nice Slater card. And I've got my Jericho card. So, I mean, we, oh, I stole his freaking Slater card. 
But it shouldn't be fine. I mean, I did over half his health, yeah. Between the two of us, it was fine. So, I should have my Jericho alt. I'm going to signal the all-out attack. Because I should be able to kill. And then I'm going to do a stage 3 freeze, and then the Jericho alt, and that should pretty much wipe him out. And I have the buff from the three-star Gother card. Just it renews the buffs we already really have. It's no big deal. See, we didn't even need my Jericho. I mean, that's the simple steps. Red Demon is not difficult if you understand the process and you have the teams built properly. Uh, Jericho and Slater are your big damage dealers. Uh, Merlin and Gustav are your big uh like freezers so you can control the fight and then gother is the big he ranks up and allows you to do it quicker and then like i said i use kane because he ups the damage you can use elizabeth with the passive to heal if you want there's those specific steps and you see i got really lucky i mean i got a nice four star chalice i got the chest the five star uh blue gem of the awakening stone is amazing that's for ssr gear but all right guys and you see right here i got a plus 18,000 gold so it doubled it so that's that's a good chunk of gold considering one piece of food but all right guys if you have any questions or anything like that make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to hit that like button until next time guys catch you later